right, welcome back to the Balance Light of Entertainment at the Good Morning Niger Show. Now, tomorrow we get one of the program, we're going to happen for Isa Muzon Center, uh, organized by one of our very own here. And uh, different, different kind of speakers will come in there. Now, leadership forum to come and talk about uh, how to be a good leader, how leadership is supposed to be, how you don't be before. Uh, what's in there wrong with the kind of leadership, where will they practice, and how to move leadership to the permanent site. We get different people, we be notable speakers. Uh, we don't talk better, we don't write better books. We don't talk to different people, we say then talk, people begin move. And some of them, uh, don't they join us in the building to prepare us for that particular day. Uh, one of them, one of the, these people go speak a day with us in the building. Uh, this particular person, uh, in a uh, legal practitioner, I've uh, been done, they ask me for say, he's a uh, technology uh, lawyer. In fact, me, I never heard that one before. And I can ask and say, what's me technology lawyer? He don't talk to different people. He don't speak to people where we say their spirit jump off for their body. And in day in the building now, uh, with us, Muna join us to welcome Timmy Olagunju. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's good yeah. to have you in our, yeah. in our studio. Yeah, thank you. All right, so now, first of all, we, 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 uh, the, the program where they come up now, Hands on Deck Leadership yes. Forum, basically. Yes. Yes. I would like to ask, what thing you going to talk about uh, uh, come okay. tomorrow? Okay, I'm going to talk on the matter of design thinking. Mm. Uh, particularly, design thinking uh, has to do with uh, issues of how we they take process thoughts mm. in such a way that we feel produce innovation from our thoughts. Mm. As you yourself know, as Niger Day at this point in time, we need innovative leaders, we need innovative citizens. And so design thinking, now that process, where we go fit take, become innovative citizens and innovative leaders. Mm. Okay, now uh, speaking about um, you know the kind of places where you don't go talk, the kind of things where you don't do before, uh, now we know the different, different kind uh, uh, forum or people say fora, if that's the plural. Mm -hmm. Neither don't they, neither don't they go on year in, year out, month in, month out to try, um, you know, to try teach the youth, particularly mm -hmm. as they said, well, the youth and the leaders of tomorrow, to try teach them on how to be greater leaders. Now, the question we have one asked, we say, um, how effective you think say all these. Uh, because it's one thing to have forum for people to come and speak. It's another thing for those where they don't talk to get impact inside these young people. And then it's yet another thing for these young people to take this impact, to take do better things for inside Obodo, Nigeria. Uh, how, how, how successful you think, say, some of all these forums and all these speaking don't they for the youth for this country? Uh, you get one Chinese proverb. We say the journey of a million miles mm. starts with a step. But the journey of a million miles actually starts with a decision. Mm. You know, so one of the things where, what would they do, they do, be say, they prepare people to take strategic decisions in the course of the journey. Mm. And you self know, say, knowledge is power. And because say, knowledge na power, we need not just knowledge, we need specialized knowledge. So for example, the thing we're going to talk about uh, tomorrow, which is on design thinking, mm. how you go fit take use your thoughts, produce innovative services or goods, become an innovative person, citizen or leader, right? We be say, what do you they produce or what do you they do, go they meet the needs of people, they add value, mm. you know? So that kind of thing that they call a specialized knowledge. And so now those kind of things we they share with people often, because you see conversation, now in their rich understanding, even if you want to spoil something, they say, now nah, spoil small potato, potato, now nah, they spoil white agbada. Mm. You understand? So the same thing too, small drops of knowledge accumulated over a period of time, now nah, they make people make the right decisions as they, they move strategically in life. And you and I know, say, the education what we get now, now nah, la cram, la po, la pass, na forget. Mm. You understand? And so classroom in, alone, no fee offer the things where we need to move from point A to point B for this Obudo Niger. Okay, mm -hmm. very, very true. Now, recently, make, make a car kind of politics small, but we're still talking about leadership. Uh, recently, we know, say, our government don't pass the uh, not too young to run bill. Um, now, I want to ask you, you feel, say, um, the young people, and this not too young to run, don't give the chance for ages uh, 35 and above. They don't, you know, they don't, if you're in a business and say they don't crash the price, <laughs> but now they don't crash the age mm -hmm. where people feel run for presidency. Mm -hmm. But even as at that, um, a lot of people still feel, say, um, the young people never get that leadership skill. It, now, one thing to read that for a book, now that thing to get the character inside body. Mm -hmm. uh, you feel, say, we get, or, or we fit, get maybe in the next few years, some kind of particular young people between the ages of 35 and 40, where as time goes on, as they 
you know, accumulate according by you all these small, small leadership skills and training. We go figure the kind of people we go, they're capable uh, to pilot the affairs of this country, people where between the ages of 35 and 40. Mm, well, may, may I tell you the truth? Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, the Madam Food you talk says conscience is an open wound, not only truth for healer. Mm -hmm. You understand? No talking for PJ, no, but. But the point there, be say, eh, if we look and carefully, mm. Mm, you and I know, say, young people don't they distinguish themselves in different fields. Mm. She na technology. No, being you say, ah, you never hear technology lawyer before. Mm. Now, so, mm -hmm. and we they solve problems there. Even at the innovation, most of the technology hubs where we get, now young people, they run them. Look, CC hubs, C innovation hub, all of them. You see, most of, if you look the entertainment industry self, now young people, they lead True. with little or no supports. You understand? So the point be say, young people don't take the bull by the own already in their own sphere of influence. But that bull by the own, we never translate them into the reality of political leadership. Because the hurdles where they involved for political leadership, particularly in this so-called democracy where we they practice, make I no even lie you give. The democracy where we say we they practice, this one a demonstration of craziness. Because people they vote for what they know they're much informed about. Democracy, they try for country where citizens, they inform. So no be democracy we they do. Now those demonstration of small craziness every four, four years. And so the challenge still did the political space. But if young people don't distinguish themselves for entertainment, don't distinguish themselves for technology, don't distinguish themselves for business, even for civil and public service, why you think say they're not going to distinguish themselves for political leadership? What do you make leader? Some people think say leaders, they born. They know leaders are made. What thing they make leader? Leadership quality, you get empathy for other human beings. Leadership quality, you they produce results. So nothing they ambiguous about leadership quality. So the question be say, shame will they see young people where they produce results? Yes. So if we see young people where they produce results, Nothing stops those young people where they produce results from producing results in, in the political space. Mm -hmm. However, what I always advocate, some people believe, say, we need generational shifts. Well, the truth be say, even the people where claim say they're old, say age come with leadership in quotes. What till they don't deliver us? Maybe life. Maybe life. You understand? But what me are they feel mm -hmm. in my own ideological research so far, be say. For us to get the kind of leadership where we need for Obodo Niger, we need generational commingling where young person and old person go they work together in the political space. Where we say older people go feel they mentor younger people into the political space. That line don't they cut severe. For countries where they're insane, where they, they call developed countries, then they create platform for young people to grow in political leadership. For example, look Obama. Mm. Now community mobilizer in they do. He moving to leadership, uh, political leadership. For Nigeria, yeah, person will be student leader. Mm? He suppose, don't from student leadership, don't they learn the art of leadership. For example, when I did Virginia, for one program where I go some few years ago, right? Interestingly, I go meet the student union leaders. I say, how far? How are they, they do what they do for you? They can explain some things to me. Say, before they, once they vote, they don't vote their leaders. Before they move to the next session to assume power, you know what they go do for them? The school go sponsor them on a three weeks boot camp to go learn leadership and design thinking. They tell what they, they, they teach them these things. What we say, once they come back, they don't hurt pass before. Mm, you are still hurt. hurt. After that, these same people then get what they call fellowship. Mm. Not be fellowship, but they gather after church on Sunday. Mm. Fellowship program. When they go gather together, specific young people. Now, fellowship, I take go US now. Wait till Kosami with US. Wait till my mama not trade that. Wait till Now, fellowship program. As they said, see, what are they do for Niger? Now, in they recommend me for fellowship program, where I take a uh, meet Obama. 
You understand? We have take learn one or two things. We have take hard, come back. So the point be say, no leaders, no they born, they, they, they made. We need institutions. We go to build leadership for this country. Right. So everybody gets a fault. Of course, everybody gets a fault. And there, well, we go guys know our fault before we know how to go take repair. Now, so. now, I just, as you be, they talk, they give it a catch for hand. You say, uh, young people, they thrive with little or no support. Now, that support, now, now I hold for hand. Now, if this support go come from our government and from other fellow young people, because we know, say, a young person pass young person, we all of us get different kind of resources where we hold for hand. Some get the brain, some get the knowledge, but they don't get the money. Some get the money, they, go, they don't get the knowledge. They don't know where they go put the money, you know. Some know where the money is supposed to be. Right, but they don't get the money and they don't get the knowledge, but they know the road. Now, where this support supposed to come from and which kind of support? Let's start with the government first of all. Everybody don't we don't blame the government, even the government said they don't tire. <laughs> uh, but where be it? Because the government they try to put their hands inside certain things. We see the government say that they give money to poor people, that they empower you, that they do this, but you know they work. Where you feel say the government don't get and wrong small, where they supposed to put support to push these young innovative people to move forward. Good. Where the government don't get her wrong, now they say government they do borrow, borrow, mm. borrow, borrow policy. Mm. Now they kill us. As they take the do and there, now so one do them. Then you see all this uh, loan, where would they collect here and there? You know, say they come with condition. Mm. Not the only book talk say the borrower is a slave mm. to the lender. You understand? Yeah. So those things, they come with some kind of policy. Policies like, say, you go slash social services. Policies like, say, education no go be free, be free. You go capitalize, privatize your industries. You understand? Yeah. But as Nigeria take this, so we need our own homegrown policy. May I give an example? You, you know, say for Alaba here, mm. or Abba. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Alaba here, or Abba. They, they run one kind of interesting model. Informal venture capitalism, where we say, as boy, you go learn work from your guy. As you learn the work for some years, your guy will come get you shop, pay for one or two years. He will set you up. He go set you up. Please, they give you cash. They make, or oh, oh, yeah, go start. What did that one mean? Capacity. What did be capacity? What did be enlightenment? God says that they enlighten people, that they empower people. Now, the boss world, where they are grab now, every politician, they throw away. What if enlightenment? I don't do my research. I discover, say, mathematically, enlightenment equals education, which includes training, plus engagement. So, you see that Alaba model, or Aba model, this Igbo model, where we say you go train the person first in the business. Then when you train the person, you can't give them capacity, find muscle, financial muscle, to go take do what he won't do. No be new thing. I don't get bros where we say, for Yankee, what you make him blow? When you want to start in technology business, the local, the local municipal government, you get big building where they get, where they, they give young people. Say for one year, no pay for anything, just they run business. They get that they employ the secretary, but the secretary, they serve everybody. They provide for life, phone bill, everything. Your own be say, just run the business from there. Now, before you reach your own one year, you don't blow. Mm. You understand? Now, which kind of provision day? We don't they say we the empower, we the empower. Is it that made they do training for people? Made they not give them financial muscle to take move, start up? Or made that they give people money, made they not train them? The thing that holy matrimony, government need to start policy where go provide skill for people and also support them with some fiscal or financial muscle to move into that area where, even agriculture, for example, as case study, mm. Mm, then take young people, they put them under a frame where we say they go feel learn the agricultural space, value chain, mentor for one, two years. After those, we don't finish, don't finish. They can't give them funding. Now that one with the talk now, nobody say you go just they give people money, give people money. By the time you begin, they give people money anyhow. Where they don't get skill, where they won't use the money, you know, implement. Person get one million today, blunt today. You don't know. Now they have more. Eh? Now so so government need to get it right. May we start to they borrow our own models. May we know they do borrow our own models. May they look our models. 
Look, for example, with a shout, say, uh, all this banking system, banking system don't fail us. It empower the few, impoverish the, the many. But we get what it is they call cooperative. Now, cooperative, my mama take put money together. Use and send me go school. You understand the logic? Why we not feel look cooperative? See how we go take grow arm. Can't do policy. We go empower those local things. We will go feel they do such that those things go can't be exported to the world. Maybe lie. Maybe lie. Uh, if we say we could leave it here, we go don't talk. All this we were supposed to talk tomorrow. Now we go talk and finish uh, today. Uh, we'll so, day to talk <laughs> tomorrow. Talk tomorrow. Day. <laughs> so, uh, so that people will come tomorrow, come join us for for for. Uh, Muson Center tomorrow is going to hear the likes of Timio Lagunju and so many other etc. etc. betterment people. We will come talk a lot about leadership. Now, tomorrow it will happen uh, for Muson Center for Inside Lagos for Marina area here. So make sure, say, you did part of this one. Hands on deck, that be the name of this particular leadership seminar. Thank you very much, Timmy, for joining yes, us. Yes, so today. thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, 12 o'clock, oh, make the take notes. Eh? 12 o'clock. Uh, now, noon. 12 o'clock. Yes. 12. Nigerian Just time. Down. Now we go start. Be... Now we say we go, we go first waste the 130 or 12. <laughs> now we go start. So thank you once again for yeah, joining us. Thank you, to enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.